And number seven from the 2007 Higher Maths paper two, a little integration. Yes, it's a trigonometrical one, but there's not much to it. It's just a single trig term. And yes, it's a function of a function. There happens to be a bracket it's operating on, but at least it can only be a linear one, as far as the higher is concerned, which means its derivative will just be a four. Well, leaping into it then. Carrying out the integration, sine must have come from a cos, but cos would have produced negative sine, so it must have been a negative cos to produce a positive sine. Of that inner function, yes. Now, if you were differentiating, you'd have multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is just a 4. If you're integrating, you would divide by that inner derivative. So I'm going to divide by 4, but I'm not going to divide by 4 with a big clumsy over 4. And I'll just put a nice neat 1 quarter at the front of my coefficient. Yes, it could be plus c, but I'm going to evaluate it. So there's no point in putting plus c just to write something plus c minus the same thing, plus c again. The c's will just cancel out. So evaluate it from 0 to 2. Another thing is, there's a negative quarter multiplying both parts. So if you take that out as a common factor and then do the evaluations. So what have I got? I've got a cos of 4 times 2 plus 1, putting the 2 in, minus cos of 4 times 0 plus 1. Again, don't just immediately put a 0 in for the whole of the second term because it happens to be 0 there because it's not just a simple polynomial type 1. When it's trig, they don't need to necessarily disappear. And if you've got a bracket, just because part of it becomes zero doesn't mean the whole thing's going to disappear. So just be careful to put it down as a proper substitution. The other thing is this. When you're integrating and differentiating, the angles have to be in radians. So when I write down from my next line, a half, a negative a quarter of the cosine of nine, that doesn't mean nine degrees. That means nine radians minus the cosine of 1, not 1 degree, but 1 radian. So when you come to work this out, you have to put your calculator into radian mode. Now you could just take that all in one go, and that would be the answer to the question. But maybe I'll just put down the, the two different parts. So there's a cos of 9, which is negative 0 0.911, I'll just put the first three decimal places down, minus, then there's the cos of 1 which is 0 0.540, rounded off. And then it's just a case of type that lot in, which gives me, because I didn't bother putting that negative in there, 0 0.362 and so on. So we'll just call that 0 0.36.